Hey guys, welcome back to Oak Abode. Today, I'm just gonna go over my three favorite chicken breeds since that is a question I get a lot on our Instagram. So keep in mind, this is totally subjective. These are just my personal three favorites and obviously I don't have experience with every chicken breed out there. But I'm gonna go over my three favorites, introduce you to them, and of course, I would love for you guys to leave comments below with your favorite chicken breeds as well. Everything that I'm about to go over is already written in a blog post below. So if you guys prefer to read instead of watch, you can just click the link in the description and that will take you to the blog post on my favorite chicken breeds with some links on where we got ours as well. Okay, my first favorite chicken breed I'm gonna introduce you to is the Black Copper Morans. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Morans. The S I think is said. If you know for sure how the Mor Moran's name is pronounced, leave a comment below so that we can all say it right. But this is Miss Frizzle. She is one of our three Black Copper Morans and she is a little bit skittish. I'm gonna go over the things that I like and I dislike about the breed. She's probably not gonna let me hold her too long here and I'll just overlay some footage of her pecking around because she really prefers to be on the ground. She really prefers to be on the ground. So the number one reason that Black Copper Morans come in third on my list of favorite chicken breeds is for the reason that they are most known for, which which is those beautiful dark brown eggshells. There are some newer hybrid breeds out there, but Black Copper Morans are arguably the best breed to get if you want the darkest eggshell. Now it changes a little bit depending on the season, the time of year. So in my experience, their eggshells are always darkest kind of at the beginning of the year in the early spring when they start laying. And then they do get a little bit lighter as time goes on, but they are always the darkest eggshells in our flock. I'm gonna put a photo up for you guys. When they first start laying, those eggshells are the most gorgeous chocolate brown. They're almost like a reddish tint to some of them too. I believe I wrote a whole blog post on black copper morans, which I will link for you guys below. But the main reason I love them is for those beautiful dark eggshells, which you really just can't get with any other breed that I have found. The other reasons that I love black copper morans is I find that they are some of the most consistent layers in our flock. So throughout the winter, especially for us in Wisconsin, a lot of chickens won't lay as much. I have found that black copper morans are the most consistent layer throughout the winter. So we get eggs from our black copper morans consistently, probably not as much as we do during the summer, but definitely throughout the winter, they are our strongest layers and we don't use any kind of supplemental lighting in our coop or anything like that. As far as their personality goes, they have an average personality, I would say. I get a lot of messages from people asking what breeds to get, especially for kids, what breeds are friendly with kids. Ours are all friendly, but they're not our friendliest hens. I will go into what breeds the friendliest hens are for us. I would say that black copper morans kind of fall in the middle of that spectrum of flighty to super friendly. They are, I believe, a dual purpose bird. So traditionally they've been used for meat as well as eggs. And because of that, they're a little bit bigger body. They're a little bit slower. They're not as great at running away from you. So for that reason, they're kind of forced to be a little bit more social. I would not say they're necessarily our friendliest breed. I will say I think they are a little on the louder side. I talk about it in my other videos. I think that's mostly a personality thing, uh, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't classify them as a quiet bird if you are living in the suburbs like we do. Really, all in all, our egg collection would just not be complete without those beautiful dark eggshells from the Black Copper Morans, so they are always a breed that I will keep in my flock. I do love them. Again, not the most super friendly breeds that we have, but they are personality plus and we will probably always keep some in our flock. Coming in second on my list of my personal favorite chicken breeds is olive eggers. Now I know right off the bat, a lot of people are gonna get triggered that I'm saying olive eggers because they're not an official breed according to the American Poultry Association or whatever suits decide that kind of thing. Personally, I don't really care. I'm making this video for people who are interested in hobby flocks, not necessarily breeding. This is a beginner video. So I'm gonna call them a breed. We have two of them and there are different kinds of olive eggers. So the reason olive eggers aren't an official breed is because they're actually crossed between two other official breeds usually, I believe. In order to get an olive egg or chicken, you have to cross what I believe is a dark layer like a black copper morans or a similar breed with a colored egg layer like an Americana, which would lay a bright blue egg. So kind of the combination of the eggshells is how you get that beautiful olive green toned eggshell. And I know I have two breeds in a row that are kind of based on the eggshell, but really that is a big way that I pick my chicken breeds. I 
really like having a beautiful wide range of eggshells and my personal favorite egg color isn't actually the black copper morans it is the olive egg or chickens in my personal opinion you just cannot beat that beautiful olive toned eggshell they are nice and dark and the cool thing about olive eggers is that not only do they lay consistently throughout the winter very similar to the black copper morans the black copper morans might lay a little bit more than my olive eggers do, but the olive eggers are on schedule through the winter as well. But the other cool thing is I don't find that the color of the eggshell changes very much from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. So it's not like their printer ink cartridges, if you will, run out of ink in the same way that the black copper morans and other colored egg layers do. Now that is just the variety of olive eggers that I have. I do believe that my olive eggers are crossed with black copper morans because they look very similar. They are kind of that dark black feathering. Um, I have two. One is really big and meaty, kind of like the dual purpose black copper morans. The other is a little bit smaller, pickles, and she looks more like an Americana, especially because of her beard. Both chickens, I would say, are more tame than my black copper morans. They're still not the tamest chickens that I have, which I'll go into at number one, but they're easy to catch. Neither of them are loud for us. That could just be chance that their personalities don't prefer to be loud, but both of our olive eggers are nice and quiet. Now, the cool thing about olive eggers is that they can come in a wider variety of feather patterns than the black copper morans do. So I've seen some that are kind of like a lavender, and I've also seen some that are brown, and I've seen some like ours that are black look more similar to the black copper morans. So depending on which variety or which strain you get, you might get different color eggshells, you might get different personalities, you will obviously get different feather patterns. I still want to add a few more olive eggers to our flock. I would like to get some of those really pretty gray kind of lavender ones. Those are really pretty in my opinion. But all in all, I think a really fun breed. They're good layers. They lay a beautiful color eggshell. They lay a lot in my experience and consistently throughout inclement weather. And their personalities are kind of on the average to better side in my opinion. All right, and that brings us to my number one favorite chicken breed. Again, this is gonna tick some people off. I don't care, I absolutely love them. My number one favorite chicken breed is the Easter Egger. And again, I know people are gonna get so mad because it's not an official breed. Don't care, they're so much fun and I'm gonna give you the reasons why. In my opinion, Easter Eggers just cannot be beat as far as backyard flocks go and flocks for kids especially. There are so many cool things about them. But what I will start with is that they are also, like olive eggers, they are a cross between multiple breeds. The key with Easter eggers is that they all, I believe they all have part Americana in them. Now, a lot of hatcheries and like chain farm stores will sell off what they call Americanas. From what I understand, there is actually a difference between Easter eggers and Americanas. Usually what the hatcheries are selling is not a true Americana and chicken people love to get really riled up about that. I don't really know why, I'm just here to pass on the information because I know people are gonna get triggered if I don't. But the Americanas are gonna be the colored egg layer. So true Americanas will lay a bright blue egg every time, I believe, unless I'm getting a mix up with Aracanas. <laughs> Tell me in the comments if I'm getting this right or not. But basically Easter eggers are a cross between that bright blue egg layer, the Americana and other breeds. So even though a lot of pet stores and things will sell Americanas. Usually they are just these Easter Eggers. From what I've heard, you can only get Americanas, true Americanas from kind of high profile chicken breeders, which I think most of us are not in the market for. I like Easter Eggers even better than Americanas because you never know what color your Easter Egger is going to lay until they start laying. So say that you get 10 Easter Eggers, you're gonna get a variety of egg color eggshell colors once they grow up, but you never know what it's gonna be until they start laying. And the cool part is each chicken has its own unique color. So our Easter Eggers lay bright blue eggs, they lay kind of a yellow, they lay a light green, they lay kind of a blue green. There's all different colors of the rainbow in our Easter Eggers. And to me, there is nothing more fun than when they come to that age where they start laying and you start finding all these new color eggs in the nest box. And it's fun trying to connect who's laying what too. From a practical standpoint, it actually is really helpful because you can tell which chickens are laying how much. So if one chicken isn't laying for a long time and you catch on to that, you might be able to catch on to an illness sooner than if they were all just laying the same color. This is really helpful, especially for 
backyard flock owners, which is what we started out as, because especially if you order chicks online, they usually have a minimum that has to ship. That's to keep the chicks healthy and warm and on the safer side. But it's a lot more fun, in my opinion, to get 10 Easter eggers because they're gonna grow up to lay all different color eggs and they're actually gonna look different too, which I'm gonna go into in a second, versus having to order like 10 Rhode Island Reds or 10 Buff Orbingtons. Even though those are really sweet breeds and a lot of people love them, it's gonna be hard to catch on to their personality and you're just gonna have a lot of the same thing. So I think Easter eggers are so fun because you can get this variety, you can order them cheap, and then the backyard flock is nice and diverse. Another reason that Easter eggers are my favorite chicken breed <laughs> is because they all grow up to feather out differently from each other. So you never know what an Easter egger is going to look like until they are fully feathered. I actually did, some of my first videos were kind of on the color development of our Easter eggers from chicks to grown-ups, and, and that's kind of how my YouTube career got started, ironically enough. But I was trying to find out, is there like a similarity in patterns as chicks compared to when they grow up? And really what I found and what any experienced chicken owner will tell you is that there isn't. You never know what color they're gonna be as adults, even based on what color they are as chicks. It is so, so fun to watch those feathers coming in and see all the different color of chickens you're gonna get. And the other reason that I love that they are all different colors is because then you get to know their personalities, which is huge. I absolutely love getting to know my individual chickens' personalities. Again, if you were to order 10 Rhode Island Reds, it would be really hard to catch on. I'm sure you'd catch on to one or two of their personalities, but when they're all different colors, it's easier to create a bond, get to know their personalities, and uh, figure out their different quirks. Now, of course, if you're buying chickens locally, you can know their personalities if you were just able to pick out different breeds from different bins, but there's just something so cool about the mystery of Easter eggers, and as they grow up, getting to see what color they're gonna be, what color egg they're gonna lay, that kind of thing. Finally, the last reason that I love Easter eggers as my number one favorite chicken breed is because in my opinion they have the best personalities of any of our chickens obviously they have different personalities between them but by far our Easter eggers are the most tame we have seven of them I believe they're super duper sweet I mean we don't really have any aggressive chickens but they're super sweet they're very sweet with each other they actually like to cuddle with each other one in particular will sit on top of like three or four other ones and it's hilarious to watch but six out of seven of our Easter eggers are tame enough that you could walk up to them and pet them without them running away and a couple of them will actually kind of walk up to you and sit down in front of you and ask for pets <laughs> so it is pretty funny now we do have various other chicken breeds we have Brahma salmon favorel a variety of leghorn and a few others so I do have some experience with other chicken breeds but by and large my my favorites are the Easter eggers and then after the Easter eggers are the olive eggers and then the other one I will always have in my flock even though I don't particularly particularly love their personalities is the black copper morans as well. The other thing about Easter eggers is most of them have these little beards, which I think is just so cute. <laughs> Some of them are a lot bigger and fluffier than others, so it's just so fun. The variety of Easter eggers, my personal opinion is that that's the number one breed I would pick for, you know, kids. Now, obviously, the more time that you spend with chickens as chicks, the tamer they're going to be when they grow up. So if you have a flock of Easter eggers and you never handle them, they're probably going to be be wild when they grow up. So in my personal experience, they've just been easier to tame. I know that people are gonna freak out because they're not an official breed, but I think they are well worth mentioning and I will probably always have some in my flock. They're very, very fun. As always, I also linked all of our chicken gear for you guys below. So kind of the chicken gear that we love, I put for you guys down there. A lot of people ask about what chicken treats we use to train our chickens and make them really friendly. We always recommend Grub Terra because they have extra calcium compared to mealworms. So I'll link the Grub Terra for you guys below. You can use code Okabode if you want a discount on that as well. So that pretty much wraps up my three favorite chicken breeds. I know that you guys are going to have favorites aside from mine and I really want to hear those, especially since I don't have experience with all chicken breeds. So please leave a comment below with your personal favorite chicken breeds and leave a comment below with experience you have with the, the breeds that I mentioned. Okay, one of my chickens just laid an egg on the ground. That was Reptar. She's kind of weird with egg laying. Please leave a comment below with your favorite chicken breeds or please leave a comment if there's any chicken breeds you especially don't like. Kind of as a bonus, I am not personally a huge fan of leghorns or leghorns. See, I don't know how people usually pr pronounce this. Leghorns are kind of known for being really 
flighty. They do lay a lot of eggs, but uh, we have one and she doesn't necessarily lay more eggs than like our Easter eggers do. So I don't really know what the big deal is. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, we would love if you would hit that subscribe button so that you can join us again in the future. And if you aren't already following us on Instagram, our Instagram handle is oak underscore abode. So I'm looking forward to hearing your favorite chicken breeds. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.